Welcome to the Revit API using Dynamo with Python to rotate elements. The first thing that I want to do is select a couple of elements. Um, so what I'll do is I'll isolate these columns um, and I'll go ahead and select them, get a Python node and delete it. Um, I'm using Visual Studio's uh, code and I have a video of how to get the IntelliSense um, if you're interested. Uh, and I'll put it at the end of, of, of the video here for you to go ahead and select and watch. Um, the first thing I want to do is get the Revit services, um, and I'll just get the persistent. Uh, and this is getting the document, um, so it'll be the one that I'm working with, which will be uh, the persistent, uh, and I'll go ahead and get the document manager. That way I can make a transaction um, and, and be able to do some action inside of Revit. Um, the next thing I want to do is get the nodes, which will be a um, conversion of the elements. So I'm going to get the elements from Revit. Um, and then I will also get uh, the uh, Revit geometry conversion. Um, Revit uh, API does feet. Uh, Dynamo does uh, meters. Uh, so this will help you do the conversion. Um, so the next thing I'll do is just get the uh, API itself, and I'll just go ahead and import the database. The star means that I'm just going to bring everything in. Um, and here I'll, I'll go ahead and get the document from the document manager, which is from the Revit services. And I'll get the instance of the uh, current database document. Um, the last thing I want to do is get the um, system which I'm working on, um, which will be a collection um, of generics. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and get everything. That way I can make a list. Uh, here, here I'm going to um, get all the, ele or the elements that I've selected the, the, of columns or whatever that I want to rotate. Um, and I'll go ahead and unwrap that. Now you have to do this in order to get um, Dynamo to um, understand what elements you're working with. Uh, here I'm, I'm going to get uh, just an integer or a number of some sort to get my angle and it'll be the second one in my input. Um, I'm going to do a loop. So for for each one of the um, elements, I'm just going to call it E for simplicity. Uh, in my uh, list of elements that I've sent into my uh, Dynamo node, uh, I want to get the uh, location. Uh, so I'm going to get a point um, of the uh, element which I'm working with. That way it can kind of rotate it around its own axis. Uh, so I'll get the point. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is get an axis here. Oh, the, the, you know, where, I, where I'm going to rotate it around. Um, and I'll just create a line and I'll get the exact same uh, reference location or the point. Um, and then the second one will be the end of it, which will be in the exact same location. Um, but I'm going to offset the Z. And, and create a, a bound um, line. Uh, that way I get the start and end. So it'll be a, a new X, Y, Z, and it'll be the same X, the same Y, and just a Z offset of uh, one um, foot. And uh, here I'm gonna do uh, my transaction manager, uh, which I'm actually getting from my Revit services uh, to um, talk to the document and this will allow me to do a transaction with Revit. Um, also allow me to undo it in case something goes wrong. Uh, and I'll go ahead and send in the document that I'm working with. Uh, and the element transaction utilities, um, or element transform util, um, is where I'm gonna rotate, um, use the rotate element. And it has a couple inputs here that it needs. It needs to know the document, um, the element ID, uh, uh, the rotation access, which we have, and an angle. Um, and then at the very end, um, you need to close off the transaction and tell it that you're finished working with, um, with Revit. So I'll go ahead and do a transaction manager dot instance and transaction tasks done. So I finished my transaction here. Um, and I'll just go ahead and copy, paste. Um, somebody else has mentioned that they can input the file. Um, I may try that in a future video, uh, see how that works. But here I'll just go ahead and get a number, second input, 
I'll run it and it'll rotate here. Uh, run it again. Just kind of keep messing with it. Um, and I'll go ahead and change the value. Uh, rerun it. Um, and just kind of watch it do some rotation. That's about how easy it is to rotate an element in Revit. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. For more uh, Revit API and Dynamo videos, uh, please subscribe.